This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi, babe. Hi. What are we doing today? Date night. But first, photo shoot. A photo shoot. <laughs> Shooting with the Sony A1, the 85 millimeter and a 35 millimeter. Uh, yes, sir. First location, this might not look like the ideal spot, but look behind her. We've got nice symmetry lines. Of course, you know, you hear me to say that every time, but um, I'm shooting with an 85 millimeter and it just looks so good in camera with the lights and everything. Whee! All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh my God, I already know. I'm gonna go a little lower and a little lower. All right, so now I'm gonna do my little defocus trick. I'm gonna focus on the ground and just look and walk around with my lens defocused, kind of previewing my background. And I'm already liking those lights, those unsuspecting lights make for great bokeh with the 8514. If I shoot from this angle, I could frame her up between that one and that one, right in there. When you're trying to include the environment in a shot, you want to shoot it from a lower angle. So I'm going to shoot with the 85 from a lower angle, just like that. Here we go. One, two, three. Frame her up right there. Beautiful. Yep, go through the motions. Good. Love. I'm loving all of this. This is gonna force me to get my 35 mil out, I swear. I'm, I'm seeing something here. See, there's like a, I could put her in between those pillars. See right here is I have the beams on each side framing her up, but look, the light. Ooh, if you tippy toe, see that strip of light on her eyes? Ooh, I like that. Maybe looking over there at the plants. Ooh, yes, that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, let me shoot from a low angle here. Yes, ooh, many money bags right here. Look at that photo. I would have. So pretty. Look at that lighting. I didn't even. Yeah, I look like an angel. That is one cool thing about this run and gun style photography, where you're kind of just walking around and just using your photography intuition, your instinct on what could look good. You know, like I didn't expect the lighting to be that good here. Like the strip of light around, like it just happened. You know, I'm finding my composition. It's step by step. Things are start starting to piece piece along and uh, kind of makes me look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait till they find out. There's light reflecting off that building up there. That sunlight is reflecting and it's casting like fake golden hour light here. 35 millimeter, ooh, okay. Yeah, I get a lot more of the background. I'm gonna, ro I'm gonna like rotate around her and see what looks best in my EVF. Looking at face me. Okay, so I get that flare right over her head on this one. So I'm gonna work with that. What I like to do is also change levels. I'll take pictures from high, from like eye level. I'll go down to like chest level. I'll just keep going down and just get different variations. Center off right there. Ooh, let me find down. All right, for the last shot that we do in this location, um, we're gonna have her facing away. Now turning around, looking at me. And this is gonna be a waist up environmental portrait. We're gonna shoot this horizontally. One, two, three. Yeah, so we wanna make sure we get a lot of environment, but also not go too low. Cause then, yeah, see? It's not, it's, not a good, it's not a good angle to shoot in. Yeah, looking up, looking up at the stars. Looking up at me up there, that is. One of the beautiful things about Golden Hour in Chicago is how the lights hit the buildings and the, the textures and the shadows that you get in right there, that little spot of uh, uh, shadows that I'm getting. This shot's gonna look good. The problem is that she's gonna be, she's mostly in shadow, so I might have to do a little bit of shadow recovery, but using the Sony A1, it, I mean, really isn't a big deal. You're gonna move around for this one, okay? Here you go, one, two, three. Great. I think this is gonna be our final location. This is what we got going on. We got the sun peeking up from the buildings, bouncing onto that building, and then that's giving us almost like a, a, another golden hour. 
we got two golden hours going on here and with the 85 millimeter using that light to backlight it the background looks insane looks beautiful what it does to her hair it illuminates her hair and then we've got this nice soft light coming from somewhere over here and i'm starting love what if i change it this way beautiful all right we're done taking photos we're gonna go eat some dinner right now but this this kind of shoot is how you get better at visualizing photos this is how you improve your photography eye and your intuition you just go like this that's all you do exactly thank you bam. master bam. class bam. Bam. this is it like that running gun style just out there looking this is how you get better it's time to send a shout out to my sponsor for this video and that is Squarespace. If you have been looking for a place to host your website, your blog, or an online store, you should be checking out Squarespace. Not only because I can offer you a 10% discount if you use the code Manny on your first purchase, but it's so easy to use. You don't need your friend that does graphic design, web design to help you with this. Anybody can do it. They offer 24 seven customer service. I love how my work looks on Squarespace. If you wanna make some side income using selling something, um, I make a great side income selling my presets, my Lightroom presets and my retouching tutorial on Squarespace. So check it out. Use a coupon code Manny, all right, and get yourself a discount.